Hi. I'm Alex Sumner. Today I would like to comment on the case of Magali Bamu and Eric Bikubi who have been found guilty of the murder of 15-year-old Christy Bamu, Magali's brother, in East London in 2010. The details of the case are pretty horrific. The couple apparently subjected the boy to repeated brutal beatings before finally drowning him in a bathtub by forcibly holding his head under water. The reason they gave was that Eric Bikubi thought the boy was possessed by an evil spirit, and had been practicing occult practices known as Kindoki against them. Kindoki is an indigenous belief system found in the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is where both Bikubi and the Bamu family originate from. Unsurprisingly, the jury had little sympathy for the couple and convicted them. Well and good one might think two villains rightfully behind bars. All's well that ends well, yes? No, actually, because this is how the result was reported in this morning's paper. Witchcraft Threat to Children Nice one, Daily Telegraph. With your lurid and sensationalist headline more worthy of a tabloid newspaper, you have managed to stigmatize all the decent and respectable witches who live in Britain. I refer mainly to the practitioners of Wicca and neo-pagan paths of Western European origin. These people have a well-established and quite definite moral and ethical framework based on the principle of an it harm none, do what ye will, and can be found quite happily going about their lawful business every day on the streets of Glastonbury and many other towns and cities throughout the UK. Yet because your journalists cannot fail to distinguish between different occult movements or because you feel the need to dumb down your paper to the perceived level of your readership, you risk inflaming public opinion against large numbers of innocent people. So until next time, please remember that real witches are nice people. Thank you.